There is a huge rise in TikTok content, reels, this type of shorter type of videos, and everyone is making them. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, my name is Cassandra and in today's video we will test out together the cheapest vlogging kit. Now, as I said, TikTok is rising, Reels is rising, everyone is creating content, so it doesn't necessarily have to be vlogging for YouTube, but maybe these accessories are good for creating like shorter videos for this type of platforms as well. We will test it out today, so keep on watching. This kit is so cheap that it doesn't even has a brand name. Now, to be super honest with you, I don't really know the price of this one because I received it to take product photography of it for a store. This is something separate of YouTube. I don't have to show this to you. I don't have any type of this type of collaboration with them or anything. I'm just a photographer. But since I am left with this one because I get to keep this cheap products. Um, I said why not test it out since everyone nowadays is creating content. So let's check the inside, let's see what we have here and if these accessories are good or not. Ah. Now I have to say for a cheap kit they are very nicely packed in here with this cutout foam thingy that keeps everything protected so most of the times these type of products have to travel the whole world to get to you so being packed like this you know they are safe and they are getting to you in one piece. Let's start with the smaller things in the box and here we have a Bluetooth remote for your phone. I have another one exactly like this one. I got it a few years ago for my phone and that one it works so I'm sure this one will work just as well. It has a button here on the side. Oh, it's working. We have a blue light here in the corner. So you connect this to your phone via Bluetooth and you can take pictures or start recording with your phone using this little remote. The next thing you have in the box is a cable for the microphone. And this one here is a phone type of thingy. You put it on, you attach this on the tripod so you can put your phone on the tripod. You got a shotgun microphone, which I am very curious to test out and see if we have some quality there, if it's gonna help us or not. And especially I want to test this one with my camera because my camera is the best example of horrible microphone. So I'm gonna test this one with the camera as well. Then we have a light. 36 LED lights we have on this one. It's a smaller thing. You put the battery so we will have some light going on. And the last thing in the box is a tripod. Now, to be super honest with you, when I was thinking about getting a small type of tripod for my camera and I was looking around on websites, I saw one that looked exactly like this one. You can open it like this or you can just hold it like this it's it's how it's called pistol tripod because it looks like a gun pack, 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 pack. <laughs> alrighty so this is what's going on inside the box now let's test them out let's start off with the tripod since it's something that i wanted at some point i ended up not getting one just because i thought if i have an expensive camera i just don't want to risk it on a cheap tripod so i ended up getting another one but now that i have this one i'm just thinking about testing it out even on cameras like this one because most vloggers use a point and shoot camera to vlog and I have this type of smaller camera as well so we can test this out on the tripod. Uh, now to be super honest with you I wouldn't put my mirrorless on this one because it's sturdy enough but still my mirrorless is just heavy to put on a plastic tripod so I just wouldn't place it <laughs> on this one but when it comes to point and shoot 
smaller camera like this or even phone the kit already has like a phone thing to attach on the tripod when it comes to this type of smaller cameras or smaller gears this tripod i think it's more than enough as i feel it in my hand i think it's sturdy enough to hold a point and shoot or a phone so i'm gonna put my camera here okay it's on it's can I open the screen? Please, I can't open the screen. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I just realized why I wasn't able to open the screen because the tripod has this small thingy right here. Let me try to focus on that. It's a little plastic thing and it was just at the point where the screen is placed and I wasn't able to uh, put it up. Now this is how this would look like as a vlogging situation Keeping this tripod like so it's very easy to hold in hand because it also have this part here That makes it very comfortable in the hand Which is something I like and if you want to put it on a table or something you just open it like this bam bam, but as you can see the camera is kind of weird. No problem. It has this red dot here you press on that and you turn the camera around very easy this just works very easy then if you want to just go away you close it and bam and for some reason it seems like i have battery inside this camera i don't even know why because i don't normally use this camera anymore but yeah this is the vlogging situation with a point and shoot on this tripod. It's just perfect. It's just perfect for a point and shoot. I'm sure that it's gonna be the same for the phone because the phone is even, even um, lighter than a point and shoot camera. The good part about this phone attachment is that you can film vertically or horizontally depending on the platform you film for. You have like a hole here and another one here to mount this on the tripod so you can mount this like this for horizontal video or you can mount it mount it like this for a vertical type of video i'm just gonna put it for horizontal videos and also the good thing is that you have like a mount here you can attach the light or the microphone here but since the light i'm all over the place i know the light also have this type of mount so you can just put the light on top of this one and you can attach the microphone on the light so you can basically have like the whole kit on the tripod and you can just start creating content which i think is great so this is the phone mount here let me get a phone i have a pop socket on which kind of makes things a bit harder but i'm gonna deal with it this is the situation in my case i have the pop socket here i got the phone on the tripod it's very sturdy it's sitting very well here and again the same the same thing in the hand you hold the phone perfectly very sturdy and nice now if i want to mount the light the light by the way works with this type of normal batteries you get this in and the light is like this I think we have some good lighting going on. I just turned one of the lights off. The camera settings are the same. I just want you to see better the power of this 36 LED little light. And it works like this. This is the power at my arm, arm's length. You also have a plus and a minus so you control you can control the intensity of the light which is also great and if you are to vlog like in darker situation i think it's nice to have one of these lights with you since it's small it doesn't take up much space and even if you have like a mirrorless cameras this would look like attached to the camera if you were to vlog like in in the darkness if you're going somewhere and it's getting dark it's nice to have one of these lights with you i think it's just practical and it's not big it's very easy to take with you i still have the lights off because i want to test the whole situation using my phone and not on a camera 
the front camera of my phone. Now we know phones nowadays have good uh, dynamic range, they are looking great overall but when it comes to low light they are not that good anymore you and you can very easily tell it's filmed with a phone so i just want to see if this light can make a difference in the way footage from your phone and especially front facing camera looks like so i will insert the final results now Now this kit right here with the tripod, phone mount and even light let's say, plus the little Bluetooth remote, it's also great if you want to take pictures of yourself. Maybe you're a Instagram or blogger or something and you go somewhere and you want to take pictures of your outfit or maybe even travel type of pictures and you're by, by yourself or I don't even know whatever is the reason having something like this it works just great and with this remote you can just take how many pictures you want now to the whole equation we can add a microphone as i said you have three parts on the light you can attach this microphone on i'm just gonna attach here on the side and the whole setup starts getting bigger and if you're just doing videos for tiktok you're at home in your room yeah you can just go ahead and have this type of setup to have like the best quality you can get out of your phone but if you are to vlog i don't know if this kind of setup is working for me it wouldn't work just because it's too big of a setup i mean i do have my mirrorless camera which is big enough but still this whole situation it's even bigger than my camera so yeah but if you wanna just to create videos and you're at home and just want to have a good quality on your phone video this is great uh now my phone already has a good microphone so i don't even know if it's gonna be a good idea to test that versus this one but my camera my mirrorless camera has a horrible unusable internal microphone so i'm gonna just record something without any microphones plugged into my camera and then i'm gonna attach this one and you will see if there is any difference or not the microphone on my canon m6 mark ii is absolutely unusable why on earth someone put this microphone on this camera the camera overall is great but the microphone I, I mean you can hear it now let's put this other one on I'm just letting you know that I have this microphone attached to the camera so we can hear the difference I mean if there is any difference but you heard previously I don't think any microphone is worse than the one on my camera uh, I think even the cheapest microphone you can find on the market is better than the one on the internal one on the camera. It's just horrible. But let me know what do you think about this cheap little plastic shotgun microphone. It's all plastic by the way, even the plug uh, to the microphone where you can put the cable, it's also plastic. Um, if you take the sponge off, you can see like some wires i think just the metal in the wires is metal on the microphone everything else is just plastic so it's cheap it's very light if you if you are searching for like a lighter type of microphone that is not heavy on the camera that's gonna be the one also it's very noisy outside our neighbors are working a lot of things are going on to be honest i was worried that the noise from outside will gonna be in this whole video no matter what microphone i'm using so yeah hopefully you will hear a difference now that i switched for the internal microphone to this cheap microphone i'm sure you can of course hear a difference between this cheap microphone compared to my road wireless go but now we talk about the cheapest vlogging kit so from the internal microphone on the camera, on this one, I'm sure it's a difference. And now we are back to my normal microphone. I just removed the sponge. I don't even know if you can see. When you look with the microphone through the light, you can see like right through this, you can see like the wires 
or something and that's basically the whole microphone the plug here in the back is just plastic it's very light and yeah but i have to say what i really like about this microphone is the windshield this sponge because i do have the other microphone the other shotgun microphone the boya by which got that big fluff and i just think that i can use this sponge from the cheaper cheaper microphone uh, on that one when it comes to windy situations instead of carrying around that whole big fluff now, the most recent point-and-shoot cameras like the Canon G7X Mark III or the newest uh, point-and-shoots from Sony, they all have like a microphone plug-in, so if you need an external microphone for better sound, you can get like the cheaper one inside this kit, plus the tripod which is sturdy enough for a point-and-shoot, plus the light if you wanna if you need actually some extra light other than that i think it's a great kit when it comes to vlogging or creating content for tiktok instagram whatever using your phone because usually the phone is great when it comes to natural and a lot of natural light but when it comes to indoors type of videos it starts to crack because it's mostly dark inside so you got the extra light, you got the tripod, you got the remote, you even got the microphone which you can connect to your phone. I think for a phone type of situation, it's just a perfect kit. But when it comes to more serious type of videos with a mirrorless and all sorts of things, I think you can just get pieces out of it like the light for example. I think the light is great. It's not too big and not too small either it's just like the perfect light to have around in case you go into some darker situation and you need a pop of something uh, the microphone can work as well as you can probably heard the internal microphone on my camera is absolutely horrible so even this cheap one is better than the internal microphone so yeah if you need a cheaper faster solution this microphone is gonna work it's working all right the tripod as i said it's great it's holding my mirrorless camera but i just don't want to risk it since my camera is like one kilogram so i just don't want to put it on a cheaper tripod because this is plastic it's a plastic tripod so i'm just gonna keep it for phone and point and shoots don't risk it on your mirrorless or bigger cameras okay so yeah this is what's going on with this vlogging kit let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on these little items inside the box and let me know if you create videos for tiktok or reels or instagram or whatever if you would be interested in getting some of these kits like for your phone to create content with your phone let's talk in the comments for this video that was it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye